change brands of oil. Fire your car up and you've got some extra oil pressure. You should be happy, right? Or should you be concerned? Keep in mind, oil pressure is not what lubricates the engine bearings. That's oil flow. Oil pressure is a measurement of restriction to flow. So the more pressure you got within reason, the less flow you have across the bearing. It's critical to get flow across the whole surface area of the bearing, not just to build that lubrication film, but also for cooling of the journal. And you'll find an engine that has more flow across the bearing will generally have higher oil temperatures because it's transferring the heat from the bearing journal into the sun. And that's what you want. Regarding oil pressure, high oil pressure can often indicate an issue whether it be a turned can bearing, blocked journal, but oil flow is the critical part. So if you change your engine oil and make oil pressure, you should be concerned because you now have less flow across the bearing and therefore less lubrication to the bearing of the, the crankshaft, the camshaft and everything in between. If your oil pressure is too high, instead of pumping oil through the engine, it just merely pumps it through the relief valve of the oil pump, straight back into the sump, heating the oil up and not doing anything. In fact, probably robbing your horsepower. Excessive oil pressure on initial startup when the oil's cold may indicate you've got the wrong engine oil or the wrong viscosity oil for your particular application or the climate you're living in. We overcome this in enduro cars uh, with oil heaters before we start them up to eliminate this. We've found we do get uh, wear, odd, odd wear in fact, on the engine bearings because it takes that little bit of extra time for the oil to circulate the full surface area of the bearing and the journal. Another thing to consider when you talk oil pressure is where you're measuring it from. Whether it be before the filter, after the filter, the, the front of the block or the back of the block, even the cylinder head. All these things will change the measurements that you're seeing. A lot of the engine builders I speak to generally work on 10 psi per thousand rpm. Pretty good indication, general roundabouts. Uh, there is applications where that, that doesn't work and there's applications where we will run an, uh, an engine with extremely low oil pressure because that's where it makes more power. Stay up to date with what's going on. Click the subscribe button. If you liked the video or if it was helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your buddies. Any suggestions on future content, leave a comment below. We will be checking it. Thanks for watching.